So my life has changed a lot since COVID-19 or the coronavirus. A typical day for me is majority work. I work at least eight hours, more likely nine to 10 hours a day, at least five days a week, not including any time that I might pull up my laptop and work at home. First of all, I am blessed to be working for a company that has the ability to still um, pay commission, pay full-time employment, even for those who really cannot work right now. So immediately when the school schedule changed, our lives changed. So, I mean, from fire drill, conference calls to just things changing drastically overnight. I mean, I got a phone call at, that I needed to be on a conference call at like 7.45 p.m. on a Saturday night to tell me that we were no longer gonna be even open on Sundays, mind blown. So, you know, from there, obviously life changed at home as well. There were some great things. Um, I'm home more, I'm spending more time with my family, I'm cooking for my husband, right? Um, but then there have been some, some downsides. Um, I don't spend as much time in a store or going out. Like my nails look horrible right now. I'm pretty sure my nail place is closed. And um, you know, then there's, and there's always just that thought of, what if I'm there and I catch it? Or, you know, what if I decide that I just want to run to the store and I take my four-year-old and I miss that she touches something and puts her hands in her mouth. So, you know, those, those things are there. Um, even though I know that the word says that we will not walk in fear, right? That it, that we will not, um, we will have power and love and a sound mind. Um, that's not easy for everybody and what they're going through right now. Um, it is hard to hear that I have friends that could possibly be laid off. It is hard to know that there are some out there that may not be able to pay their bills right now. Um, and then, you know, and then even thinking about how long can my company do it? How long can they really withstand um, paying people and not getting that ROI, right? That, that return on investment. So um, it's, those pieces have been tough. Um, my four-year-old is not going to school right now at a time where she just started reading and sounding out her three-letter words. So luckily, um, my very close friend, <laughs> and I are swapping off days. So like days that I'm off, I will take my daughter and hers and, and do the, the teaching word. from home. An and when she's off, C she'll C take them. Um, but that's not always <laughs> as fun either, right? That, that can be tough. H-A-T, hat. Thank you. Nia? But B -A -T. we're making it work. T, back. So at Chosen for Completion, we truly are a love church. So I have to be honest, I miss seeing my sisters and just being able to hug them physically and find out about their day. But we have really thought outside of the box to come up with great ways to still be able to interact. And even though we are practicing our social distancing, we are not um, spiritually distant. So for example, we, um, we watched a movie separate, but together, and we all got together on video chat and we just were able to talk about the movie and express how we felt and how those things affected our lives. Um, and we're doing more and more of those things. So um, I love that this is, this is making us come together in a different way and use technology in a different way. Um, I was able to now be at home with my family and do something fun like just make a TikTok video. Have you, you, you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do doing those things um it, it, there there's a lot of positive that will come out of this. I mean, 
I think that we are all cleaner, we're more conscious, we're exhibiting a lot more patience, and we're spending a lot more time um, loving each other in a different way. So um, I also miss my CG team. Um, and I know that the youth are out there trying to learn differently and thinking about, you know, how this may affect them. Robert and I are, are challenged to come up with some different ways that we can interact with them and make sure that they know that they're supported and that we love them and we're there to help. So, you know, we've got something that's happening out there that's not a good thing, right? But we can make great things happen from it. Not so bad.